O to the U to the N to the C to the E. Wait, I can't dance. That's okay. We'll show you how to bounce. I don't know what that was. Hi, this is a fun angle. So, I recently uploaded a song called Sick of Losing Soulmates and everyone likes it and that's nice. Thank you very much for the nice feedback on this. I've had a lot of requests to do a little how to play type thing, as I sometimes usually do. Sometimes. I also thought I would explain the lyrics a little bit because not a lot of you are getting what it's about. But that's okay. Like, you're allowed to take whatever you want from the song. If you want it to help you in terms of, like, a romantic problem, then sure, it can be seen that way. For me, the song is about trying to stay friends after a relationship and it being difficult. And it's about being such good friends. And for me personally, I've had, like, loads of best friends in the past and I've lost them all. Like, they've just kind of faded away. And I'm done with that. I'm done with losing like my best friends, my soulmates, people who I could spend the rest of my life with. I will look through the lyrics and tell you what it's about. Also, it's not about Evan, sorry. I wouldn't really write a song like this about Evan because it's too sad. I never feel sad about Evan. He's always just fine. I'm not gonna like break up with Evan because we're not going out. I meant like in terms of a friendship. Oh, who's messaging me? Right, first verse. What a strange being you are, the guy I'm talking about is weird, I can't really put my finger on him. God knows where I'd be if you hadn't found me sitting all alone in the dark. Well, I'd recently come out- Stop it. I'd recently come out of a very bad relationship with an abusive person, or I think manipulative is probably a better word. Basically, I'd spent the last two years of my life being controlled and it wasn't fun. And I was trying to get out of this relationship and this other person found me and sat me down in front of a fireplace and we had a massive chat and that's where the second verse comes a in. A dumb screenshot of youth. Watch how a cold broken teen will desperately lean on a super glued human of proof. Whenever I think about that conversation, I'm just like, oh my God, I'm gonna think about that when I'm like 70 and be like, hmm, silly. Oh, we were young. Like I can just screenshot just me and my friend sitting in front of a fireplace and sobbing. A uh, cold broken team will desperately lean on super glue human proof. I was pretty broken and I was leaning on someone who told me all about their experiences and how they looked like they were like super glued together. They were stitched up and it's proof. Look, you can still live and be functioning and I'm gonna hold on to that idea. What the hell would I be without you? I don't bloody know. Probably still in that awful relationship. <gasps> Brave face, talk so lightly, hide the truth. Sometimes it's difficult to have a proper conversation because we're scared. So we just put on a brave face and we're like, yeah, everything's fine. Sick of losing soulmates, I bloody well am. Where do we begin? I can finally see who's fucked up as me, so where do we win? We had another big conversation and basically we both messed up a little bit. Won't be alone again, no thank you. In that relationship, this controlling person, like, took me away from all my friends. I moved to Bath where none of them lived. And he convinced me that, like, a lot of my friends were evil and hated him and I wasn't allowed to hang out with them. So I was just really alone. And I'm like, that's not happening again. Not doing that part of my life. Stop it right now. We will grow old as friends. I've promised that before, so what's one more in a grey hair circle waiting for the end? I mean, that's pretty obvious, isn't it? What's one more in our metaphorical grey circle? Grey circle, because grey hair. You get it, don't you? Time and arts will wear us thin. I mean, they will. I mean, the next bits are just kind of obvious. I won't take no for an answer because I'm not losing my best friend. That's not happening, okay? It's not happening. I've just watched this whole video back and I've realised that it's kind of confusing what I'm talking about. The song is not about the abusive person. The song is about the nice person who got me out of that horrible relationship. And then I went out with that nice person. Then we broke up. Now we're friends. Trying to stay friends. That's what this song is about. Not about the mean person. I have another song about that. It's called One for the Road. You should really check it out. Learning, learning, learning. In the video, I had an acoustic guitar. It wasn't mine, it was Charlie's because I was cat sitting Gideon. But I actually wrote this on an electric guitar. Wait. Oh, shit. It's a bit out of tune. A lot of people have been saying that I've been retuning it, but I actually just haven't. When you play this, you literally play two strings. That's it. All you're playing is the bottom one. Miss one and then play the other one. Then I like to rest my middle finger on the one next to it because sometimes I hit it and it sounds awful but doing that just kind of mutes it. It'll be your thumb and your index finger going like. So you have your fretty things and if you have dots on your guitar, it'll be the second one up. That is one, two, three, four, five. Five frets up. So that's your first. No. Then what you're gonna do is slide it up to the next dot, which is up. Do do two frets. 
Then there's a big jump down to a weird one, which is below the first dot, which is on the second fret. Slide, and then just up one, then back to the middle. What a strange being you are. Watch how a cold, broken teeth will desperately lean on a super glued human. Then just hold on that. Then, after you finish that, slide up to third dot, which is one, two, seven frets up. Now, this changes so quickly. You're gonna go to seventh to fifth to ninth. Basically, there should be another dot there. Seventh, fifth, ninth, back to second, and then up one to the third. Seventh, fifth, ninth, second, third. Yeah, yeah. Seventh, fifth, ninth, second, third. Hi, down there. Then it's just second to third, fifth to seventh. Then it goes weird. Then just go down one semitone, one fret on the guitar. Like it's very clashy because it clashes with fucked up metaphors i can finally see you're as fucked up as you. first fret then back to fifth I can finally see you're as fucked up as me so how do we win do that chorus one more time and again see you're as fucked up as me so how do we win yeah then you just do that verse again And that's basically it. Because when it's, I won't take no for an answer, that's the same as just the verse. I won't take no for an answer. No. I won't take no. And that, my friends, is it. Feel free to add dynamics and make it a bit more dramatic in the middle. And now I will record a little instrumental for you. It will be electric though, so. Rock out! Cool. Uh, yeah. Thank you for listening and watching. Let me know what you think. Also, if you fancy not like speculating who it's about in the comments that'd be great because you'll probably know anyway but like just to keep the gossip on a low that'd be nice just know in your heads and be like oh yeah got it hey thanks friends bye Thank you.
Thank you.